language, a tool we use every day, but have you ever stopped to consider its power? It's not simply a mechanism for communication, my friends. Language is a key to comprehending our world, fundamentally shaping our perceptions and understanding. Each word and phrase we create holds incredible potential, not only to express our immediate thoughts, but also to our memory and perception. For instance, consider colors. Cultures around the world categorize and name colors differently. Some have a multitude of terms for what we know as blue, while others only have a single word for it. This intriguing aspect of language subtly influences how we perceive and remember colors. Language in this sense is like a painter's palette, offering a myriad of shades for our thoughts and experiences. It is not only about the words we articulate, but also about those that shape our thoughts and feelings. So language is not just a tool, it's a lens through which we view the world. Ever heard of the Sapper-Whorf hypothesis? It's a theory that might just change the way you think about language. Now let's take a step back into the early 20th century when two bright minds, Edward Saper and Benjamin Lee Whorf, proposed a fascinating idea. They suggested that the structure and vocabulary of a language we speak can shape our thoughts and perceptions. This theory is now famously known as the sapir whorf hypothesis, or the principle of linguistic relativity. Picture it like this, language is not just a tool for communication, it's akin to a lens through which we view and interpret the world around us. This lens can vary significantly based on the language we speak. Each language with its unique structure and vocabulary can color our thoughts, influence our perceptions, and even shape our reality. For instance, if a language has multiple words for different shades of blue, its speakers might perceive and distinguish these shades more acutely than the speakers of a language that has only one word for blue. Essentially, the language we speak could potentially influence how we experience and understand the world. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with success? Well, think about it. Problem solving and decision making, two vital components of success, are deeply tied to our cognition, our thought process. And if our language can shape our thoughts, it might also impact how we approach and solve problems, make decisions, and ultimately how we achieve success. Imagine the implications. If you're a fluent speaker of multiple languages, each language could offer you a unique cognitive toolkit, a different lens to view the world. It could potentially expand your horizons and enhance your problem-solving skills. However, it's important to note that the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis is not a universally accepted theory. There's still much debate among linguists and cognitive scientists about the extent to which language influences thought. But regardless of where the scientific consensus lands, it's an intriguing idea to ponder. So could the language we speak determine how we think and perceive? It's a fascinating possibility. But language goes beyond shaping our thoughts. It's also the key to successful communication. The art of communication is like a dance where each participant takes turns, listens, responds and adjusts. It's a skill that goes far beyond mere words. It's about connecting with others on a deeper level, understanding their perspectives and conveying our ideas effectively. Whether in a boardroom, discussing business strategies, at a family gathering, resolving disputes, or in a classroom sharing knowledge, communication is the backbone of our interactions. The words we choose, the tone we use, and the way we present our thoughts can greatly influence the outcome of these exchanges. Mastering the art of articulation can help us express our ideas clearly and persuasively. It can help us negotiate better deals, resolve conflicts amicably, and build stronger relationships. Persuasion, a delicate yet powerful skill, can sway opinions, inspire action, and drive change. It's not just about convincing others, but also about understanding their needs and aligning our message accordingly. Collaboration, too, thrives on effective communication. Shared ideas, mutual understanding, and collective decision-making are essential for successful teamwork. And let's not forget, communication isn't just about talking. Active listening is equally important. It's about understanding what's not being said, reading between the lines and responding empathetically. So remember, every word you utter, every conversation you engage in has the potential to create a ripple effect. It can foster understanding, build bridges and inspire action. The way we use language to communicate can open doors and create countless opportunities. Do you know your internal dialogues? Your self-talk holds power over your self-esteem and motivation? Let's take a moment to explore the profound influence of self-talk on our mindset. Picture this. 
You're a narrator of your own life, and your words are the brushstrokes on the canvas of your reality. Each word, each thought, paints a vivid picture of how you perceive yourself and the world around you. Now imagine you consistently paint yourself as a failure or incapable. How would you feel? Demotivated, perhaps? That's the power of negative self-talk. It can cage you in a world of self-doubt and hinder your progress, creating a fixed mindset that stunts growth and development. But what if we flip the script? What if we start painting ourselves as capable, resilient and adaptable? That's where the magic happens. Positive self-talk fosters a growth mindset. It's like a beacon of light in a dark room, illuminating your path to success. When we engage in positive self-talk, we tell ourselves that we are capable of learning, of growing, and of overcoming challenges. This mindset translates into resilience in the face of adversity, adaptability in the face of change, and a relentless pursuit of personal development. So remember, the words we whisper to ourselves have the power to shape our reality. They can either fuel our journey towards success or anchor us in stagnant waters. The language we use with ourselves can be our greatest ally or our most formidable adversary. Language, a powerful tool in setting goals and visualizing success. Imagine standing at the base of a mountain, the peak shrouded in clouds. The journey appears daunting, almost impossible. However, the words we choose can turn impossible tasks into achievable challenges. Instead of uttering, I can't climb that mountain, um, we can assert, I will conquer that peak. Such a change of words transforms the seemingly impossible journey into a feasible challenge. Our dreams are not mere placeholders for our ambitions, mainly they are a compass that steers our actions and the fuel that propels us forward. By using clear, specific language, we shape our dreams and map the path to success. For example, rather than saying, I want to be successful, Consider stating, I will become a best-selling author, or I will run a successful business that empowers local artisans. This specificity helps create a clear vision of our destination. Besides setting goals, words are also pivotal in visualization, a potent technique where we mentally rehearse our success. We use vivid descriptive language to paint a detailed picture of our sought-after outcome. Picture yourself on that mountain peak, the cold wind on your face, the feeling of victory coursing through your veins. Imagine the cheering crowd as you reveal your best-selling book or the sense of pride as you inaugurate your new business. These vivid images brought about by descriptive language create an emotional connection to our goals, making them seem real and attainable. So language is not just a means of communication. It's a magic wand that can turn dreams into reality. The true power lies in the words we choose, the images they conjure, and the emotions they evoke. The right words can turn our dreams into tangible goals and our goals into reality. Have you ever used affirmations or mantras? They are more than just words. They are tools for success and well-being. Affirmations and mantras are language-based tools that harness the power of positive thinking and self-belief, and they can be instrumental in shaping our reality. They are statements that we repeat to ourselves, designed to challenge and overcome self-doubt and negative thoughts. The idea is that by changing our thoughts, we can change our feelings, actions, and ultimately our lives. Imagine the words you speak to yourself as seeds. Each time you repeat an affirmation, it's like planting a seed in the fertile soil of your mind. You're cultivating a new belief, a new perspective, a new way of being. And just like a seed with the right care and attention, it can grow into a strong, flourishing tree. Consider the affirmation, I am capable and confident. If you repeat this to yourself regularly, you're essentially programming your mind to believe in your capabilities and boost your confidence. The more you say it, the more you believe it. The more you believe it, the more it becomes your reality. Mantras, on the other hand, are often used in meditation and spiritual practices. They are sacred utterances, phrases or sounds believed to have spiritual power. They are repeated over and over, helping to focus the mind and connect with a higher power or state of consciousness. An example of a mantra is the Sanskrit phrase, Om Mani Padme Hum, which is often translated as the jewel is in the lotus. By integrating affirmations and mantras into your daily routine, you can direct your mind towards positive thoughts and outcomes. They are a way of training your mind, influencing your subconscious and ultimately shaping your reality. So remember, your words have power. Use them wisely. 
We've explored the power of language and how it shapes our reality and success. We have delved into the impact of linguistic relativity, highlighting its influence on our thought processes. We have emphasized the importance of effective communication and positive self-talk as key drivers towards success. Furthermore, we've drawn attention to the crucial role of language in goal setting, visualization and affirmations. These various elements converge to illustrate the significant role language plays in our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed it, please support the Spiritual Quest channel. Remember, your words create your world. Choose them wisely.